Now, the federal government has applied to withdraw the alleged possession of firearms charge against the former governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria, Godwin Emefiele. The prosecution also says it has pending 20 count fresh charges against the defendant bordering on alleged illegal procurement. This happened at the Federal High Court in Lagos. We have more in this report. Last week, the vacation judge of the Federal High Court Lagos, Nicolas Zuebo, fixed Tuesday, August the 15th, to hear applications from both the defense, which is seeking to have the charges dropped, on account of the failure of the prosecution to obey the court order granting bail to the defendant, while the prosecution is seeking the leave of court to appeal against the order granting him bail. But on Tuesday, the director of public prosecutions at the Federal Ministry of Justice told the judge that his decision to withdraw the charges is informed by emerging facts and circumstances of the case which requires closer investigation. In his response, the lead defense counsel said such an application under Section 174, subsection 1 and 3 of the 1999 Constitution cannot be made orally. He also said the federal government cannot make any further application until it has released Mr. Imifili as directed by the court. The DSS fighting off correctional officers within the court's premises on July the 25th rearrested Mr. Emefiele within the court's premises following his arraignment on a two counts charge of alleged illegal possession of firearms and ammunition. So while we are pending further investigation, at, at the end of which we will probably come back with more charges. There is also another pending charge at the FCT High Court as we speak. So all this combined to slow down the process of complying with the orders of the court. It's about the charges at the FC High Court conferring unlawful advantage. There are charges that borders on procurement offenses under the ICPC Act. Regarding the failure of the DSS to release Mr. Emefiele on bail, the DPP said there were administrative protocols which the agency had to abide by before transferring the detainee to a correctional facility as ordered by the judge, which delayed its obedience of the court's order. Would you prefer access or the obedience of an order that says you can go to your house and sleep? Which will you take? We don't care about access. We are not asking for access. We are saying that the Nigerian laws must be obeyed. And if the courts in this country give an order, God forgive, forbid the day that court orders will be subject to interpretation of every subordinate, subordinate agency. The judge adjourned to Thursday, August the 17th, to give a ruling on the matter, adding that this latest development is a surprise to the court. Kemi Foladeemo, TVC News. Lego.